and this is the tube I welded on, the self-feeding tube. Not real sure if I'm happy with it. Uh, the smoke come back through the odd time. Uh, hard to get the burn right. Now here's my outside pipe. I always get a little bit of smoke. As I said, other people say they don't get any, but um, that's just to keep the rain out of the pipe and the snow. Because up here in Canada, we do have snow. Lots of snow. And the front's just a temporary little cover to try to control air intake in it. Same up there, just a little cover just setting on it. Careful, it's dangerous here. I just had an old five inch pipe off an oil stove. So I put it on, they couldn't get any more five inch pipes, so I put it up in the six inch. However, it only gets uh, maybe 100 degrees up there, if that. Somebody was busy somewhere. Now if I shut off the bottom vent, so it gets lots of air. Here, that slowed her down. Now, I'll show you what happens if I give it too much air below. Let's come up through here. I gotta be careful with how much air you give her. She probably should have a door in there, some kind of draft, so that you can go better. But as I say, you don't give too much air down there. She broke them right back out here. Not the best design, for sure. Should remove the cover here. Stuff come back out. It's not pretty good now. Still shot down the self feed burn tube. Uh, you gotta play around with it, move the wood around. The little 2x4 maybe is not quite dry, but that's an old rotten piece of wood on the side over there. Uh, it doesn't burn very even. I have to do some more experimenting and the door, put a door on it, uh, the draft, how much draft to give it, where to give it, top, bottom. Before I'd be really happy with the way it works, but. It does give off. It's pretty good heat at times, but a cup of tea here in a minute.